guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shaleen. Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, I am doing a back to school period hygiene kit. Um, you know, for all my girls out there that don't know what to pack or what to start with. And you know, for my younger girls out there, this video is especially for you guys. I need some advice and so on to guide you how to like, you know, put together your own period kit. And yeah, just a little quick video um, to show you guys like the necessary stuff that you need when you're on your period and so you just don't forget anything. And yeah, or or anyone out there, it doesn't have to be young girls, you know, anyone older that just wants to watch this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to notify every time I upload. And yeah, follow me on my Instagram, it'll be somewhere here or down below. And yeah, I keep I'm posting consistently, um, weekly, and yeah, um, there's all this content coming. I really, I'm really trying to grow this channel and family, and I'm really putting a lot of effort into it. And yeah, if you want to see this video, just keep on watching. First of all, I know that time of the month is really, really stressful. It's really frustrating. It's really annoying, and you just wish it never came. Yeah, that was me when I was younger. Um, yeah, and when I was younger, I wish I would have seen these type of videos so I would have gotten an idea and it would have been more open type of topic to talk about. But, nevertheless, I'm here to be the big sister and tell you what to do and give you some advice and to show you the things that I would do. Okay, so first off, you need some type of little bag. I just got this one right now. I can't find anything else. So I just got this type of bag. Hopefully I fit most of the things in here. And yeah, I'm just going to show you the examples and the things I would put in here if I was to have a period kit, okay? With some pads, it just depends if you guys um, use pads or tampons, whatever you guys prefer, any other stuff you use, I don't know. But I go between both, so I would have pads and tampons just in case. So sometimes two to three pads or even more. Um, depending how much your flow is, you pack for your flow. So, when I was younger, I, my period was horrible. Um, I was dying, literally, and my period was just like a big waterfall. Um, it wouldn't last anything in pads, and definitely the, the cramps and the pain was horrendous. You c I couldn't survive, like, I was rolling around in a little boy. Anyways, now it's gone a little bit better because I'm on the pill and stuff like that, but that's something else. So, anyways, pack whatever your flow is. If you have a regular flow, a heavy, light, just pack according to your flow, your period flow. So, let's just say I'm packing just average of three. So, I'm putting that in the kit. Then, next up, I'm taking the liners, like when you have light up flows or Maybe you want to put a line on with a tampon, it's just vice versa, whatever you use it for. But it's always good to have tampons, pads, or a little bit of everything just in case. So I got here three um, liners from different brands. This is Libra, I remember this brand, and this is Levi Kotex, I think. I can't remember. But they're really nice and comfortable and they're good. Bring that in there. And I got two tampons here. Yeah, two tampons. This is the regular Tampax Pearl, I'm pretty sure. I've been trying to get the light, but they don't sell it here in Australia and they sell it over there in America, but it's really expensive to like get it to be shipped over here. So I still have the regular from like last time. I just feel like my flare is gonna light out in tampons. I feel like they last longer. They don't like soak it up all the blood. It's always like a little bit of white. There's always a little bit of the tampon that's not all covered, so it hurts to take it out. So I feel like I need a light. Anyways, with tampons, it definitely lasts longer. And way more the pads. Pads, I got to change like two, three hours. It just doesn't last. And this can last for me up to like five or six. So no more than eight hours though. Because you, you can get toxic shock syndrome. And nobody wants that. And it's scary. But yeah. These are regular tampon sprills. Putting those in there. Always, always have your spare underwear. You never know what could happen to the one that you're wearing in that moment. So always have a spare underwear, um, just in case. And preferably dark color, dark dark 
Kala or black. Sorry if I'm talking weird because my braces, like an elastic put on, put on, and I can barely close my mouth to open it because it's so tight and it's hurting so bad. I'm trying to like hold it in. Anyways, always have a spare undies. No matter what. Um, yeah, it's always just better to have that in case, in case something happens and you have an accident, you have something to change into. Also, like spare pants. Preferably, you know, dark coloured. Don't wear anything white on your period because, you know, you can have a little accident and that's way more noticeable than dark colours, obviously. Anything loose, clothing, anything that you're more comfortable in, wear it in those days, okay? And cotton so you can breathe and everything, so, yeah. Something else I would have would be hand sanitizer because you definitely want to sanitise your hands, you know, bacteria and stuff and you're going to be touching down there and stuff like that. Don't want anything happening, so sanitize and always wash your hands before and after. Um, I would just put in a hand lotion just because I hate having my hands so dry and it just bothers me. But that's just something extra, you know, it's optional, but that's just me. Okay, next up is always having some type of change, money, coins, you know, something because you never know what you might need. Got this little um card wallet thing that i got from typo and yeah i've been using it i had my other cards in here but i took it out I'm using it and yeah just got like coins in here and obviously i have that okay and next up would be having some type of pain medicine you obviously need this because you never know when pains are going to creep up on you if you usually have them you'll know you probably will have them if you don't you still have them because you never know what you can get any type of symptoms, cramps, anything. You need some type of pain medicine. So this is Voltaren that I'm using at the moment, but you know, Panadol, Nurofen, Advil, whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you. I just have these two right now. Next up is some type of chocolate. I know I'm gonna put this whole thing in there. Obviously, find a chocolate that's you know, in a little pack. Um, that you can pack easily when it's small, that fits in there. But I'm just showing you guys the option, even though I'm not gonna put this in the kit. Or you may get a Ziploc bag and pack a few M&Ms or whatever candy or chocolate it is that you want. And just sip it up and put it in there. I always have chocolate because cravings come in so badly, and you want something sweet. I always tend to crave like you know chocolate and like fresh fruit, just like the sweet, natural natural sweetness i don't know but yeah and healthy too and lastly it would be some type of wipes so baby wipes flushable wipes would be way way better especially when you're in a situation in public or at school flushable wipes way better you just use them and throw them down the toilet and nothing happens like they'll flush away so these are just assorted and flushable wipes i don't really like flushable wipes like consistency because it's so like thin but they make them like that just so they can flush down the toilet but these are these it's got 40 sheets i'll just grab some of these zip lock bag and put them in my kit and you're good to go or from a pack of little tissues because you never know when you need them for anything even though it's not your period related but yeah it's like it just won't hurt to pack in that in your period kit so yeah something small and quick and easy yeah and with that you can close it and it's all full no one will ever know that this is your period kit and it all fits in there technically i would just pick up the chocolate and like the wipes and zip look bags so yeah all fit in there and yeah it doesn't really have to be anything too big you can fit a lot in something so that's it anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really like making this type of hygiene you know, um, vlogs, lifestyle, um, a little bit of everything almost, um, videos, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy my type of videos and like me as a person, um, and yeah, please don't forget to like this video, I really appreciate it if you do, um, comment down below what other type of videos you guys want to see, and yeah, click the bell to know if I ever my upload, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye guys! It's my little baby Snowy. Say hi. He's not a baby, it's just he's still a baby to me.
just gonna turn nine years old soon. Um, such a little cheeky boy. Yeah. Love him so much. He's just an angel. See, hey. He's just adorable. I love him so much. He's like my little baby. Anyways, 